Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alonzo with Gulf Coast Smoke, and today, you guessed it, we're doing another comparison video. So recently, I've really loved doing these videos. It's become a lot of fun, and I'm buying a lot of new rubs that I've never tried before, and I think it's really interesting for us to figure out what tastes best, if there's one rub that's just so much better than this one, if there's one brand that's sticking out, or whatever. So I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I wanna keep going. So this is actually something that somebody in my comments recommended that I do. So we're gonna be rolling with the Honey Killer Bee by Cosmos Q and the Honey Hog by Meat Church Barbecue. I'm assuming that they asked me to compare these because they both have honey in the name, probably both very sweet. Now I have had Honey Hog before and I think it's really, really good. I have not had this Cosmos Q rub, so I am interested in seeing how it tastes. So if you look at the ingredients again, just like we started doing last time, sugar is going to be the main ingredient in both of these. Now I did look over the ingredients right before we started this video, and you can read that they are almost exactly the same. The only difference is this one says an extractive of paprika, and this one right here says and spice extractives. So they are almost exactly alike. I'm pretty interested to see how they're going to turn out. If you look at the actual rubs real quick, the color is almost exactly the same as well. So again, I'm really interested to try these out and see how these turn out today. Just by looking at my platter here, you can tell that we're gonna do chicken wings and we're gonna cook it on my Weber kettle. You know I love my Weber kettle. So we're gonna use that Vortex attachment that I have and I'm gonna show you guys how to cook with the Vortex. I love that thing. It gets the fire really, really hot, and the heat actually travels over and around the chicken wings. And they turn out really crispy, really good. Cook them for about 45 minutes, flip them once, and they turn out amazing. So let's go ahead and season these up first, and then we'll go outside and we'll get that vortex attachment ready. I'll show you how to do that, and I'll show you what wood we're going to use for the smoke today. I do want some smoke flavor. Even though we are going to concentrate on the rubs, we're not going to add any sauces or anything like that in the end. But come on in, let's look at this rub. So we'll start with the Cosmos Q Honey Killer B. Now Honey Hog by Meat Church Barbecue. So one thing I will say is these do smell very, very similar out of the bottle. So I'm really interested. I'm actually very excited for this comparison video today. I really think that this is going to be one of the best ones we put out just because they're so comparable in so many different ways. So now let's go ahead and let these sit for a second. Let's go outside and let's get the Weber kettle with that Vortex set up ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now I'm out at the Weber kettle. Got the kids playing in the back. We're going to go ahead and set this up real quick. It's really, really easy. I'm not even going to talk you through it. You literally just fill this vortex up all the way, and then we're going to light it with a few of my starters, and that's it. we got to let the whole thing get really, really hot. All the coals get white. Then we'll throw on a chunk of cherry wood. So come on in real close. You know what time it is. It's time for that music. It's time for that B-roll. You know how I like to do it on this channel. <laughs> So the coals are nice and hot. They're all white. Come check them out. And the objective of this Vortex is to get it extremely hot. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to throw a chunk of cherry right in the middle. And because of the way that the Weber is actually set up, these vents are only in one location, right? So what we want to do is let's throw the chunk on. 
and we want to put the vents on one side first. After about 15 minutes, we'll move it over to this side. And the reason that we want to do that is so we get nice airflow over all of the wings. So we'll do that every 15 minutes until the chicken wings are completely done. Right now, we're not worried about how hot this thing is. We know it's extremely hot. So the vortex is actually going to push the heat all right up here in the middle of the kettle. And it's going to go over everything. But we still want that good airflow. The vents on the bottom are all the way open. And for the rest of this cook, we're just going to cook until internal temperature. Now chicken is technically done at 165 degrees internal, but I like taking chicken wings to the 200 degree range internal. Now that gives you a really nice bite. These chicken wings can handle that and I recommend you try that next time you take some wings, throw them on the pit. Cook them to 200 internal and I promise you they'll be some of the best wings you've ever had. They'll come right off the bone, still be juicy, nice and crispy, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these wings, throw them on the pit, and then it's just time to wait hang out with the family, hang out with the kids, and then we're gonna eat soon. Okay, so 45 minutes later, these wings are all ready. They smell really good. I can smell the cherry smoke on these. The rub set really well. Just by the footage that you just saw, you can tell that they look pretty similar. After being cooked on the grill for a little bit, I definitely would say I don't see a large difference. If I wasn't keeping track of which wing was which, I don't even think I'd be able to tell which one was the Cosmo rub and which one was the Meat Church rub. And I do wanna quickly just go over how that Vortex cook went. So the wings are nice and crispy. The rub on these wings set really well. They're sticky but crunchy at the same time. I really like the way it cooks. If you don't have a Vortex attachment for your Weber kettle, I definitely recommend getting one. I've used my Vortex for chicken wings, stuffed meatballs, burgers, a lot of different things. And it really is cool the way that it cooks. So I recommend trying one out if you haven't already. But this video is about the taste. We showed you how to cook. We did talk about the Vortex, but it comes down to the flavors. And I really wanna see what the difference is on these two rubs. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First, I'll start off with the Cosmos Q Honey Killer B. Still really hot. but that's a great wing. That's delicious actually. Really sweet for sure. 
I don't get any spice. Um, I don't get any spice at all. I instantly taste sweet, brown sugar, sugar for sure. That's where the little bit of stickiness comes from. It does caramelize on the meat as you're cooking with that vortex attachment. That's a great wing. I 100% recommend that rub. No matter how this comparison turns out, I recommend that rub. That's very good. Now we'll go ahead and taste a Meat Church Honey Hog, see how that turns out. That's very good as well. Um, So I don't think I taste a difference there. Like, I literally don't taste one difference at all. They're both sweet. They're both really, really good. I'm confused. Hold on one second. I'm going to try another one. I'm going to try another one because I really cannot taste a difference, but I want to find one. So let's try one more time. It's so good. That is a that is a really good wing. That's a really good rub. Hold on. I have to get my wife the camera lady a shot to come try this wing out because I'm I sincerely cannot taste any difference from one rub to the other. So give me just a second. All right, so we actually just hit a historic landmark today on the channel. My wife and I actually agreed on something for the first time ever. I'm just kidding. No. So, sorry, I just, I knew I had to say that to the camera as soon as she got to the other side. Um, no, I mean, seriously, she can't tell the difference either. Uh, she said she was taking a bite of one and thought, okay, maybe this one is sweeter. Went back and took a bite of the other and it's the same exact thing. So this was a great comparison. I'm actually super happy with how this turned out because these are both absolutely delicious. And I'm not just saying that. They taste very, very good. I recommend both to anybody. So I think it just comes down to what do you have in your area? What's easier to come by in your area? I know that Meat Church is sold in Academy, which might make it easier for you guys to pick up. Cosmos Q has his own little shop in Oklahoma. If you're in Oklahoma, you can go there and pick it up. But I 100% recommend both of these. They're very, very good. So I'm really happy overall with the results of this comparison. And let me know in the comments below, what should I compare next? I don't want to just continue doing rubs. I'd like to do maybe low and slow versus hot and fast. Maybe steak on a pellet grill versus on a Weber kettle. Um, just a lot of different things that we want to do. I did not mean for my channel to turn into a comparison channel, but I honestly have so much fun doing it. And I get a lot of interaction with you guys when I do comparisons, so I love it. I love seeing the channel grow and I love seeing more people come in. It's really, really cool. I didn't even think my YouTube was gonna get to the point where it is today and you guys keep allowing me to grow, so I appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed to our channel and you like what we're doing here, go ahead and subscribe right now. We're going to be putting out new videos every single week for the rest of the year, and we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up for you guys. If we reach 1,000 subscribers, I promise you, you're going to want to see that video. So go ahead and subscribe right now and help us reach our goals. You can always find some of our stuff on gulfcoastsmoke.com. We put recipes, we have rubs, salsas, hot sauces. We're even going to start doing a little bit of barbecue sauce on there as well. I have some hats for sale. I have a few shirts if you're interested in supporting. You can find everything that I have there at gulfcoastsmoke.com. Thanks for sticking with me and watching even though I dropped that chicken wing right in the middle of my vortex. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.